What's up guys, it's Ashley, the creator of My Fad, and welcome to another episode of My Fad Journey. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. So we have made it to day three of this diet. And let's be honest, this day could not get here fast enough. Honestly, Friday couldn't get here fast enough because I was pretty much over it. But at the same time, I started to feel a little bit differently physically. Somewhat not good, somewhat good, but I explained a little bit more in this vlog. So yeah, let's get into it. It is Thursday, which means it is the last day of this little diet thing. I'll be honest, like right now, I'm not feeling too good. I woke up with like a really bad headache and I'm still nauseous a little bit. Well, I am now out of nowhere. I've just been really tired. And so that's kind of got me a little bit off, but I already took Taylor to school and I said I wasn't gonna lay down, but I laid down for like a few minutes, about 15 minutes, just so I can like regroup because yeah, I'm not feeling the best. I didn't sleep too good, so maybe that's why. Unless some stuff goes on, this part of the vlog is probably just gonna be like me reflecting after I go through today. I ended up making me like a smaller bowl from the one that I did last night, just so I can have, since my lunch is supposed to be at 11 today, instead of the two yesterday, I shouldn't have any issues with that. But yeah, I need to be leaving right now so I can get to work. And if things happen, I record. If not, then I'll just skip to the part where I kind of just like reflect on everything. But yeah, I don't like how I feel right now. And I mean, it's probably still because my body's adjusting to everything and I'm just not used to this, like feeling. I mean, I feel nauseous a lot before, but yeah, time to go to work. All right, so it is Friday, which means it's the next day. Um, I did not finish recording yesterday because I was dealing with a lot mentally. I'll be honest, like I wanted to document whatever came into play that affected my mental. But yesterday, like I mentioned, I wasn't feeling the best. And so at work, I got through work. It was fine. It was just slow. Like we didn't have much customers yesterday. So it was kind of like, it, it was very draining because I was clock watching. It was just a lot going on, but it's like I came home and Taylin was having a fit and she's been doing good like lately. Like if you watch some of my previous vlogs, you know, I mentioned before that she's been having these, these changes where her like moods are crazy, these tantrums and stuff. And I struggle with dealing with them. But this time, you know, it took me about 30 minutes to calm her down, went upstairs, but it was hard because I wasn't feeling good. I was frustrated. It was just a lot. And so I didn't feel like recording after that because I really just wanted to get out and do something. So me and my boyfriend, we went on our walk like we normally do. We talked a bit and I was fine. But then like as the day went on, I started to feel like really lightheaded. I started to feel tired. Um, my head was hurting. I felt a little dizzy. So I started thinking like, did I not eat enough? Or like, what's going on? Like, I know that removing a lot of other things from my diet would have caused some things, but it really affected me mentally. Like last night I had a breakdown and I was talking to my boyfriend about it. And like I said, I don't know if it's because of the diet or anything. Like, I don't want to blame the diet on that, which matter of fact, let me take a step back and say this. Anything that I say on any of my videos, especially this one, is nine times out of 10 from experience, something someone has told me that I'm giving advice for someone, it might help them too. It is not telling you what to do. It is not telling you should do it. It's just things that have worked for me, things that I've been through, things that I've experienced on my fat journey in hopes that it would help you on yours. So when it comes to me trying three days of this raw fruit, vegetable and nuts diet, your experience may be different. Like my boyfriend, he had a really great experience. But for me, we were talking last night and I think that I wasn't mentally prepared. Like I was even looking online and I saw people who've tried it said that you have to be mentally ready for it because it does take a toll depending on your discipline, depending on certain things. And let's be honest, I'm not that disciplined with things. I really wanted to challenge myself and I don't think I was ready for it. 
I'll be honest, because mentally I just wasn't in the space. But I thought I was good. I thought it would have been fine. I saw how it affected him. So I never would say don't try it because my body, honestly, this morning I felt better. You know, I think my body was detoxing because I eat a lot of bad stuff, but everybody's body is different. So for me, it was a lot. You know, the nausea was the thing that got me the most. And I don't like being nauseous. So I think if I would have sit down, did more research, asked more questions, like actually really dug deeper into it before I got into it, then maybe my experience would have been better. So I decided now that I'm still, like I mentioned before, probably just going to do like incorporating more fruits and raw vegetables into my diet, but still not take away the stuff that I enjoy eating. Just don't eat them as much, you know, to where my gut health don't get a little crazy because I don't know. I feel like I've been having issues. But I don't know. So I do feel like internally, you know, I feel like over time I start to feel a little bit lighter. You know, I didn't do it before and after picture or anything, but I was really wanting to lose my stomach. And a lot of people were like, oh, you're skinny, this and that third. Like, listen, after I had my kid, I still got a little bit of this baby fat. And when I eat, it shows. And so I did like a few times look and I'm like, okay, it looks more toned. You know, and that's what I want, you know, to tone my body, get it right. I don't want to lose weight. A lot of people do this to lose weight. My goal was really just to try it out because I have a problem with keeping up with suggestions, like even with like advice through therapy, all that stuff like that. I have trouble with sticking with what people suggest. So I told myself, hey, he had a good experience with it. He tried it. He just offered, hey, it's worth a try. So I did it. It was just three days for me. I see some people, they do like 90 days. He's done. I think he's on week three. And hey, I mean, I commend anybody who can do it. And honestly, I feel like who knows? I may try it again once I get more mentally prepared. But I feel like incorporating more of better foods into my diet, you know, not necessarily having to give up everything I like, you know, just in moderations you know just monitoring what i eat and like i said this is my preference you know you don't have to do it i'm not saying it helps your mental health because honestly it took me on a toll but again i feel like i wasn't prepared mentally especially the way i've been feeling so yeah with that being said that's been my experience um i wish i was able to document yesterday but yeah i was just it was a lot mentally and of course, normally when you guys see moments that I'm not in the right space, it's either I'm okay and I get emotional or I'm already recording and I just happen to capture that moment, which is nine times out of 10 how these vlogs of mine go. Like I'm recording and it just, if I like a moment in it, I go with it just so it can be more realistic. But anyways, I think that's all for this vlog. Um, I'm probably gonna have another one. But other than that, I appreciate you watching. Make sure you hit like and subscribe. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video. All right, so that is the end of this vlog series. I hope that this insight gave you a little bit insight of what my experience was yet again. I know that everybody experiences things differently and I know that mentally I was not really prepared, but I'll be honest, I'm recording this a few days later and I kept along with the diet in the aspect of incorporating more into my day and my body feels a lot better. I feel a lot better mentally and I think I am going to give it a try a little bit more than I probably said I was in the video. But I thank you for watching and coming along with me on this journey. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see more of my fan videos. And I'll see you in the next video.